A reading from the book of John, chapter 14, no commentary. Do not let your hearts, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, I would not have told you that I am going to prepare. Uh, if there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you myself, so that where I am, you may you also may be. Where am I going? Where am I going? You know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, do we not know where you are going? How can we not? How can we know the way? Jesus said to him. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you also know my Father. From now on, you will know me, and I have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long at a time that you still do not know me, Philip? Whomever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe in me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because all in me, or else believe because the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones that, than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father. And he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The spirit of the truth, which the world cannot accept, because it is neither it neither sees nor knows it. But you know it because it remains with you and will be with be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. And in a while the Lord will see will no longer see me. But you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whomever has my fall, whomever has my commandments also observes them, is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas not Issachar, Judas not the Issachar, said to him, Different Judas. A Judas, not the Issachar, said to him, Master, then what happens that you will, receive, will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my father will love him, and he will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whomever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent whom sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave to you, and peace, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away and I'll come back to you. If you love me, you will, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no, I will no longer speak much with you, for the rule of the world is coming, and he has no power over me. But the world must know that I love the Father, and I do as I that I do just as the Father commanded me. Get up and let us go. Alright, such beautiful homilies there. Beautiful homilies. We're going to chapter fourteen or fifteen. Thank you for spending your time with us. Have a good night.